five side effects of taking balloons you have to stop it before it's too late man welcome back to my channel guys it's the fitness make sure to pay the algorithm by smashing that like button and hit that red subscribe button but a lot of young people especially they are addicted to these balloons and it's absolutely destroying them uh, destroying their health mentally physically and spiritually you know what i'm saying to you it literally doesn't make sense you get what I'm saying to you? Like, I can put my hands up happily and say to myself that I used to uh, take balloons and that. But only when I was to go and party and go to events, I used to take it. So I wasn't addicted to it. You know what I'm saying? But I can tell you my experience with that. And my experience is it's not, it's not good. Yes, sir. That's why I'm going to get into the, into the side effects. And then it has a massive negative impact on your health and well-being. So the first thing. The first one you take this uh, when you take this uh, natural um, natural monoxide, it's uh, it robs you of your uh, of your oxygen in your body. Yes, I'm coming because what you are inhaling is insane amount of chemicals, toxins. You understand it into your body. That's what you're doing. You understand. So yeah, so which which cause what 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 is the cause? Headaches, headaches, migraines. Yes, sir. You feel lightheaded. That's what I am. Um, that's what that's what I've experienced uh, when I was uh, when I was taking uh, these uh, balloons. I I used to get that. Cool, it's all fun again. You you get that quick rush, that dopamine rush. Your laughing face of ha 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 ha. Do you understand? You fall over. You fall over. Yeah, it's cool. Do you understand? But realize when you add up the consequences, it's so so much. It's it's not literally it's not worth it. Do you understand? So oxygen dep uh, oxygen uh, deprivation. Now the next thing is nausea, nausea and vomiting. For me personally, I haven't experienced no vomiting uh, when I was taking the balloons, and also nausea. I didn't get that. I didn't experience that either. This is where I'm coming from, but that's what caused nausea and vomiting. The the third thing is headaches. As I said earlier before, but specifically headaches. When I used to, when I had, when I had it, I had my good time, so called good time. My head would get so tense that like it would explode. That is what that's what that's what that's what it did to me, man. I mean, so that that can explode. I mean, eventually, obviously, it will calm down, but my head will be tense and I will be lightheaded. That's the most common thing I experience, and more lightheadedness. You know what I'm saying? So number three, headaches. And what's the point? What's the point of taking something? Yeah, just to get a quick dopamine rush. Yeah, just to satisfy your ego. To uh, so so you get uh, so you get headaches. Why why would the headache? That headache is a bad thing. Yes, that it's, it's not good. For, it's not. It's not good for your your uh, your brain. It's not good for your mind to be to, to take something that causes you headache. That makes no sense. It's not, you want to feel good. You want to feel good. Then you should stop. But taking balloons, if you want to feel good, should you want to feel good or not? You understand? So that's number three. Number four. It's a dizziness and con dizziness and confusion. You understand? I used to, when you used to take balloons, I definitely I used to uh, uh, be uh, dizzy. And I was having, I'd be like, I'd be like this and uh, just I'll be wobbly. I'd definitely be dizzy. Yes, I definitely will be, and definitely also confused. You know what I'm saying to you? I just, I just laugh, I just laugh my face off. You know what I mean? But actually, it's not funny. Yes, I'm going from, it's not funny, man. Because you can, what it is in that year, you can take, you can, uh, when you, you can create that feeling yourself, that enthusiasm, that energy. That confidence, you can, you can create it yourself. You don't need no substance to create it for you. And on top of that, it's destroying your health. So what's the point? That's something that can create yourself. It's within yourself. Think about that. So uh, that's the uh, uh, dizziness and confusion. And number five. Number five is um, it's your long-term health is in, it's a massive risk. Number five, your, your long-term health is a massive risk. You understand? When you see, it shows your, 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 your blood pressure. You understand? You can get strokes, heart attacks. You understand? It, 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 it makes your blood dirty. There's so many endless amount of negative side effects that it causes. You understand? It literally, it literally doesn't make sense because uh, what I, I've, um, I've, I've been a hajima many times. So hajima is basically, um, is basically cleansing, uh, cleansing uh, of your body, removing bad blood out of your body. Even the, the prophets used to do it as well. So, like the guy who was doing me, he would say to me, "Are people that will, that will visit that are people that have patients that uh, they've seen their blood and that, and uh, it's really thick. That's bad 
be the faker now because of the uh, of the what you call the uh, the balloons. You understand? That's what it, 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 the fakes up your blood. Make your blood dirty, polluted, and makes it thick. And when your blood starts running properly, then you're unhealthy. You understand? So when, it, uh, when your blood starts running properly, then then what you call it, you're gonna affect your heart, your kidney, your liver, your brain. It's gonna get affected. You understand? So if you die, because if you if you um, uh, somehow pass away or you end up in a hospital, uh, God forbid, it's because of the micro of the of the uh, of what you're inhaling. You understand? You're you're inhaling garbage. You're you're inhaling poison. That's what it is. You get it? That's why you gotta stop it. You gotta drop that and stop it, man. It's literally not worth it. You understand? So when it comes to when it comes to the solution to the thing here now is decide why do you want to quit? Someone of just someone of reason, not just say, ah, oh, I just want to quit. No. Some of reason of why do you want to quit? You to say it's up to your families. Uh, it's for your health and mental well-being. What is it? Make it strong enough, powerful enough that it's meaningful to you. You're likely, you're more likely to stick to it. You understand? What's the cause and effect? If you're some of people and you go out and they they, they go, go to have balloons, don't don't go with us people no more. Go go get some buy some new friends and go with them. Yeah, that don't do balloons. You understand? Come from because you get whatever that I see, you get tempted. I said, you know what? Um, yeah, let, let me try one. Let, let, let me let me uh, th th just have the one. No, there's gonna be two, three, four. Before you know, you've, you've done a whole packet. Yes, I come from. You've done a whole packet. Like when I was when I was taking balloons and that, I would easily do uh, do a packet or half a packet. Yes, I come from. I mean, the, the packet's like twenty or something like that. So, finally, the course of is it a boredom? Just that is it? Uh, is it your circle? What is it? Identify it. Identify and create a strategy. To, a great strategy, a plan to overcome the the, the problem. Just start as I give you an example. Sign yourself with new set of friends. You can start to them not straight away like cut them off, but say yo like tell tell your your friends like yo. It doesn't matter. I don't care if you know for five years, ten years, don't matter. Just stand. And it's your help. You help us on the line right here. You only got you only got one body. You understand? You got one each body part and that. If it's destroyed, if it's damaged, you, and you can't repair it, that's your fault. So that's why God give you a free will to use our free will in to, to benefit us, not to not to uh dis, de degrade ourselves. So as uh, tell them like yo look, look I don't want I'm not gonna take uh, uh take this no more because of the extra consequences. You understand? For what it does to you, it doesn't make you feel accessory. Give it a brief, simple. If they say no, then you're gonna know, they continue to have it where you're thinking that there's gonna be in front of your face. Then it's a yo, then you gotta so yo, you, you can't go out with them. You understand? You go do something out with them, go go do different activity, but go out with them to the event or party, go don't go there. Nah, nah, I highly suggest you do not go there. I was gonna fall up into the trap. You know what I mean? And you guys back, back to you, going back, back to you, but taking balloons. So, as I say, you are the fifth person. Who you surround yourself with so choose very wisely you get it um what you call it um and that's that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much it really on just the the and how to quit the the, the quit the thing you measure measure also not to be it's not it's not uh, in front of your face like uh, at your house you can't see it and that just yes, it makes it on the living room in the kitchen the bed. no it's out of sight they can't see it because when it's out of sight it's out of mind you get it and uh, um, as you as you apply this test, what I told you, about this test, what I told you, you are going to stop balloons very quickly. Yes, it could be a days or so. Very quickly, you can stop at that. You understand? And realizing that also it's a form of intoxication. So if you are a Muslim or Christian, whatever religion you believe, you believe in, you believe in God, then you will not you will, you, you don't use a substance. You will not use a substance to intoxicate yourself. You won't do it. You will not do it because you know that's the trait of the that's what the devil wants you to do. The devil wants you to intoxicate yourself, so you're you're confused, you're destroying your temple, you stand, and do all this other bullshit. That's what the devil wants you to do. Yes, if you do that, then the devil owns you. He's your master. You know what I'm saying? He got you in a chokehold and he's in your on your he, he you are in his web. You stand. But if you decline that, you stand, because that's the way where you do is a sin, then the devil just that devil will leave you alone. Just that come because you're you are fighting for God's side, not for the devil's side. Just that so you gotta pick a side of that man. A red, red pill or blue pill. It's entirely up to you. Is that come from? So that's pretty much the the end of the video. Uh, to stop 
to, uh, the side effects of uh, uh, taking balloons and how to quit. Yes, man. So make sure you share with your friends, your family, or whoever that you know that's sold into uh, that's taking balloons and to let them know and be aware of the side effects and what they need to do to stop this uh, addiction. Yes, Dan. So eventually pay the like button by smashing the like button, hit that subscribe button. If you're looking for like-minded people, they've got positive habits, you know, they inspire each other to become the best version of yourself, then feel free to uh, ch uh, check out the, the, the Patreon, shout out to the Patrons, and also feel free to join the, uh, the Discord group as well. Shout out to the Discord group. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.